Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would just show you guys a quick kind of summer friendly vacation ready kind of date night makeup look quick and easy will get you on to your night and on to just living your best life while feeling your very best and doing the very minimum. So first and foremost, I did apply my Touch and Soul No Problem Priming Water, which is kind of an oil. I forgot to film that, but so I put a nice little light oil all over my face. And now I'm going in with my Becca Under Eye Corrector in the shade Light to Medium, and I'm just patting that underneath my eyes. That's gonna go ahead and help hydrate my under eyes a little bit, but mainly kind of color correct any darkness. You can just see that that cancels out the majority of my darkness. However, I am going to go in with some concealer in just a moment. Letting all of the primer and that color corrector sink into my skin, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my brows. And to fill them in, I'm just going to use my Joa Precision Brow Pencil. Super quick and easy. I find that when you're on the go, a nice pencil will just get the job done quickly. And I'm not going to fill them in too much. I'm only really going to focus on the areas of my brows that are sparse where I need a little bit more hair. I just want them to look naturally full and fluffy. I'm going to go ahead and apply my Kosas Tinted Face Oil. I believe I am in the shade 4. I will put all of the products and the shades that I'm using down below in the description, as I always do. But I'm just going to go ahead and kind of just sweep that over that primer that I put all over my skin. I used this tinted oil throughout my vacation, and I've come to the conclusion that this will seriously be my summer staple. It's just really light, dewy, delicious on the skin, kind of just makes it a little bit more uniformed than it is and gives it just like the right amount of coverage and it doesn't feel like I'm wearing foundation. It genuinely feels like I'm wearing skincare. So if you missed my full day wear test on this product, I will go ahead and link it up here as well as down below in the description. But I'm just kind of like you know, pressing that into my skin, gliding it along my skin and any areas where you have dry patches or just different textured skin, whether it be from acne, scars, or just anything where, you know, the texture in your skin is a little bit more rough and things tend to lay on top of it a little bit more uneven, then that's where you want to go ahead and just pat the product into the skin. And I do suggest getting a mirror, getting up close and personal to just look at how this foundation lays out throughout your skin because this oil can kind of go on a little bit uneven. You really need to take the time to just blend it. You know, it's not full coverage, so you don't need to be too precise with everything. But like I said, because it is an oil, it tends to cling onto more troubled areas. So just make sure that you take the time to really blend everything out and really get the whole face to look even because that's really the point of any kind of foundation, tinted moisturizer, BB cream, CC cream oil. You just want to make your skin look more uniform. So just take the time to really make sure that your skin, you know, looks uniformed. And you know, Mike's talking to me, so I'm kind of just like talking to him, giggling. And I'm also getting ready on this amazing king size bed. It was like so comfortable. I love that it has the curtains. You know, we just had like a fabulous time. I don't even think I told you guys, Mike and I snuck away to get to Turks and Caicos for a couple days. And you know, it was my birthday trip. My booked the vacation for my 30th birthday. I had an awesome time. It was just really relaxing. We didn't really do much. We kind of just landed, spent the days on the beach, woke up early, went to the gym, worked out, and kind of just hung out outside. It was really nice. You know, we didn't really need to worry about coronavirus because everything was really outdoors, and it just kind of gave me a sense of normalcy, and I think really gave us a break that we both really needed in terms of just like our day-to-day -day lives being so repetitive for the last year, as everyone's has been, but also just a really nice break away from work. So I'm going to grab my Ardell Glam Touring Contouring Stick and I'm just going to go ahead and use that to just contour my face like I typically do. Put a little bit on my forehead, sculpt my cheeks out a little bit. I am going to put a little bit on my chin, a little bit over my lips just to make my lips look a little bit bigger and a little bit down the sides of my nose just to make my nose look more uniform with the rest of my face. Kind of make my nose look like it belongs rather than really focusing on contouring it because again this is quick and easy. I'm not spending too much time perfecting 
affecting my face. I kind of just want to make my face look naturally youthful and dewy. I'm using my Japanese brush that comes with the Sunlit Glow Bronzer. You guys see this brush all the time. And I'm really just going to use that to press and push the contour into the skin. I'm not really going to swipe. Um, the only place I'm really going to be a little bit more liberal with the swiping is underneath my jawline because I don't really have any product under there. So I'm not really worried about moving the foundation. But everywhere else, I'm really going to go ahead and pat that contour into my skin. This way, I don't move that tinted face oil. And I love using cream products, especially in the summer and especially in a tropical vacation location, just because it really makes the skin look like skin. It makes my skin look really dewy and youthful. And again, I just feel like dewiness kind of reads a little bit more natural in hot and humid environments, whereas powdery matte looks just look very out of place. So I definitely lean more towards cream products. I would say in general, more so lately, but also, you know, when I go to a beach vacation, when it's the summertime here in New Jersey, it's just, I just feel like a dewy, glowy kind of makeup look fits the environment, fits the weather. Moving on to cream blush, I'm gonna go ahead and take my favorite cream blush of all time, MAC Glow Play and Cheer Up. I'm taking that on a dome brush and I'm just patting that into my cheeks, kind of placing this over top of that contour because again, I really want everything to just look natural. I don't want you to be able to see my contour, my bronzer, my blush. I want everything to just look sculpted and like my skin. And again, pressing it into the skin this way you know, I'm not moving any of the products underneath. And I just, I really love this dome brush. I believe it's from Crown. I will put it down below in the description. It just does a really good job of blending out cream blushes, cream bronzers, and it just is perfect for the placement, especially on my small face. And I'm also gonna bring this like over the nose just to give me like a natural sun-kissed look. I do like to put a little bit on my chin as well and I'll put a little bit in the center of my forehead. I like to think of cream blush as more of a complexion product. I've said this so many times, but just to give a little bit more juiciness, a little bit more youthfulness to my skin rather than just placing it on my cheeks and using it as blush. Use things in other places can kind of make the whole makeup look look a little bit more cohesive. Grab my, I'm pretty sure this is the Jouer 2-in-1. It's like a foundation concealer. And I'm going to focus that really on the inner portion of my eye where I have that darkness right underneath where my bag is the darkest and also on the outer corners of my eye. And again, I'm just going to push that in with my Sephora 57 brush. And I'm going to use a really light hand. I'm just stippling, pushing, taking what's ever left over and using that over top on my lid as kind of like my eyeshadow primer. And yeah, I wouldn't suggest this if you're like a full coverage kind of babe, but again, I do like this. It's thin, it gives just enough coverage and it doesn't look too cakey underneath my eyes, which I have very dry skin underneath my eyes and sometimes that can happen. I wouldn't say this is like the best concealer I've ever tried, but I think in the summer it just does enough, which is really what I'm looking for in my makeup routine, just something that does just enough. And then I am gonna use my Narcissus Wanted palette. This is no longer sold in stores, but I'm just using like a really light brown. You can pretty much find in any and every eyeshadow palette that you own, as long as it is a neutral. And I'm taking that with a fluffy brush and just running this into the crease, going back and forth in those typical windshield wiper motions. I'm not gonna go too in depth with the eyes, but I do want to just give a little bit of depth to them, make them pop a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to do anything too crazy. This is definitely beginner friendly in terms of eye makeup. Take that same color and run it underneath my eyes. This is just something that I like to do. It just helps to make the eyes pop a little bit more, make them look a little bit more noticeable and just give them a little bit more definition. Green shimmery shade on a flat brush. This is a Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush and I'm just going to pat this all over my eyes. You know, this isn't a very potent green, but it does give a really pretty light metallic kind of brownish green. It's a really interesting shade. I've actually never used this shade before from this palette, so I was tempted and really wanted to try it, and I just think it gave a really nice wash of color, and it looks beautiful with that brown. So I'm just putting that all over the mobile lid. Shimmery shade. It's not as shimmery and glittery as the green, but it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. Using the same brush, I'm going to pop that underneath the brow bone, and then I'm also going to pop it into the inner corner of my eye as well. I'm gonna go back in with that blending brush just to go ahead and blend out the crease. I find that sometimes when I put a shade all over my lid, it can kind of, you know, 
you can kind of see where the lid color ends and the crease begins. So I just like to go in with an extra blend. And now I'm gonna grab my Tweezer Man Eyelash Curler, curl my lashes, and just throw on my favorite mascara at the moment, Unique Moodstruck Mascara. This has been my favorite mascara recently. I like that it separates the lashes and gives them a wispy kind of lengthy look. I've been more into a wispy kind of lash, more length rather than volume, because I just find that all the volumizing mascaras that I've been using lately just kind of make my lash line look a little bit chunky and cluttered, if that makes any sense. Ciate Watermelon Pressed Translucent Powder. I brought this on the trip because I didn't want to bring a uh, loose powder because I find that that really runs the risk of getting all over my stuff. So I like a pressed powder, especially when I'm traveling. And I'm just going to focus that underneath my eyes and also around my mouth because I am going to be wearing a mask to dinner. Um, we are sitting outside, so I can take it off as soon as we're seated, which is nice, but I just always make sure to powder around my mouth. This way my makeup doesn't transfer too, too much onto my mask. So I'm just putting that all around my mouth and on my nose where that mask is going to sit. And I'm just using a fluffy kind of precise brush. MAC Strip Down, which is probably my most used lip liner. I think that a nice, almost like peachy brownish lip is going to look really really nice with this off green kind of eye so i use strip down because i just think that this is like the perfect kind of peachy light brown lip liner and this goes with any and every nude shade that i own because it kind of matches the shadows in my skin so i'm just going to overline my lips because I feel like we did a really subtle kind of makeup look so I want the lips to look a little bit bigger and a little bit juicier. Fenty, I think it's in the shade Unbuttoned. It's the lightest one in the Fenty Beauty Lip Sun of Paints collection but I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over my lips. I'm not going to apply too much because I find that if you apply too much of this product it can get a little bit textured and just look a little bit heavy on the lips again especially in this warmer kind of climate so i am applying that with the wand and then blending it out with my finger just to thin out the formula and then i'm going to go back in with my lip liner just to go ahead and perfect the edges of my lips this is just something that i like to do i find that most people go in with a lip liner then throw a lipstick on and then they're done but i always go in with my lip liner again just to go ahead and perfect anything i find that sometimes things can go outside of the line. So I just like to go ahead and just perfect my lips, hold my hair back, put on my hoochie hoops, which Mike bought me for my birthday, which I am obsessed with. I literally like wear them every day. I wanted to show you guys what it looked like in daylight, just very natural lighting, even though you guys saw me apply it in pretty natural lighting because I was literally sitting on the bed in front of a window. So this whole video has been natural lighting, but I really wanted you guys to see what this looks like during golden hour. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called, but just really pretty dewy. I feel like this is a beautiful makeup look for any kind of event really focused on just juicing up the skin and just perfecting everything a little bit without spending too too much time this is a beautiful date night look and again this is very humid weather summer weather friendly i didn't find the need to apply any highlighter i liked just letting my skin glow and i did throw on this really cute i believe this is a billabong dress but it's kind of old so i just threw that on this is my look for the evening and i am standing on the balcony of our hotel so i wanted to show you guys what our beautiful view looked like for what felt like a 30 minute lunch break we were there for four days but it like flew by so quickly so this was our beautiful view and oh my god i wish that we were still there and then this is me soaking in the last few minutes of the day oh my god this was like the most relaxing trip i think i've ever been on it was just really it was it was so nice to just get away i was like really in my element i was so happy if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a big thumbs up also be sure to subscribe and click that bell button if you have not done so yet guys i had a wonderful time as always i'm wishing you a really great night a really great day whenever it is you are watching this and i will see you in my next one bye finders